Aye, so basically, in this day and age, in this fucking gender neutral, now, like I said, I'm not a discriminating person. I don't discriminate whether you're a fucking dog, whether you're a fucking cat, whether you want to be known as a fucking non-gender fucking kitten, whatever the fuck it is. But nowadays, what you can do, right? Now, this is, I'm not being discriminative. I'm not being sexist, racist, fucking animalist. Whatever the fuck these new fucking things are and whatever it is, they're now being called. And you can fucking go to court if you get fucking call them by the right name. So basically what these people can do is they can pick up the phone, right? And if they want, what they can do is they can basically sponsor a fucking dog that's a fucking woman dog that's basically became a man dog through fucking animals, fucking equal... Uh, gender rights fucking arguments and fucking whatever the fuck and that human that dog can get a human to fucking look after it pick up its fucking shite fucking feed it fucking three meals a day and fucking it's in Africa or fucking Botswana or fucking wherever the fuck that dog or animal fucking sheltered fucking housing cat gets a fucking council fucking flat before a fucking a, a cunt in Glasgow that's been fucking through the wars, that's fucking fought for the country, that's got fucking two legs, uh, one leg, and fucking all the bullshit carry on, has to fucking apply for all sorts of shit himself, or get something, or what, do you know what, see now the fucking days, the fucking dog, it's probably equal opportunities that the fucking dog has to fill out the form for the fucking veteran to fucking get a council house, because that dog already got a fucking council house, that dog's got a fucking welfare rights officer, that dog's got a fucking social worker, and that basically, that dog that's in fucking Botswana has basically been fed three meals a day, right, this dog's been fed three meals a day, this dog's been walked, talked, fed, watered, Fucking living in a fucking Ibiza lifestyle, sun, sh sun, sand, sea, the full fucking shebang, right? And then you've got wee fucking Barry, the Glasgow, who fucking fought and fought in the wars, and he's living with his fucking maw until they can fucking find him a council house, or he's living in the fucking Queen's Park Hotel until they find him a fucking council house. But because the Romanians, they can now apply for fucking funding to have their children get benefits for, for get benefits for their children who are in Eastern European countries but how does this make sense if the children are here in the Britain and the UK separated from a fucking a, a, a sign that says Scotland and a sign that says England not by a fucking sea they can fucking they can't claim it and they get done for fucking fraud and they get four six months in fucking jail so we fucking Barry's worked for fucking uh, for Argos whoever the fuck he's worked Greg's fucking 12 years pension Fucking full shebang, gets a fucking Glasgow City Council gym for half price, the full everything, right? He has to fucking go through all that shenanigans, whereas the fucking dog in Botswana is getting fed three meals a day. That fucking dog has got a human that picks up his fucking shit. Now, not even a fucking human picks up their own fucking shit. It depends if they've got a fucking wee parcel, or it depends on the situation, circumstances, and location that they're, they're at, but obviously, in these circumstances, like I said, it's fucking easy. Pick up the fucking phone and you can sponsor fucking young Toby, the fucking Botswana, a wee fucking Scottish fucking terrier. And you can fucking make sure that that wee Scottish terrier is fed three times a day. It's had its bath, it's had its fucking tea, it's had three meals a day, whereas we fucking Barry is in city centre, outside fucking Argos, with a wee fucking cup begging for a fucking tenner bag. Fuck's sake. You tell me. Is that fucking equal opportunities for a fucking human being in this day and age? Or is that fucking racism to the white community in Britain and saying here, do you know what? Britain, you fucking did this wee Barry, you fucking did that. But you know what? See, your life, your fucking life isn't as important as a fucking donkey in fucking Colombia who's fucking got six fucking kilo of fucking Colombian full shebang, the full fucking uncut, fucking Bolivian cocaine cat will fucking spread over its fucking arse, all over itself, who can fucking carry that, and basically, do you know what I mean, I, I don't get it man, it doesn't make any sense to me, but then again, like I said, a he can become a she, a she can become a he, and a fucking brother can become a mother, and a mother can now become a brother, that's the way this world's going, and I don't get it, because like I said, I'm not fucking prejudiced, I'm fucking animal, gay, fucking transsexual, fucking all the X's and fucking whatever the fuck, 
these people are now bringing these new terminologies into into, into this day and age whereby we are now accepting fucking not allowing if you haven't got a certain amount of money you can't fucking take your car into the fucking town so if you're going to the fucking town you need to have a fucking car that's over a certain reggie otherwise you get fucking fined but what emissions fuck's sake right okay i brand you people are fucking do you know what i mean so basically what they're trying to say is if you don't have a certain amount of money or if you don't live in a specific lifestyle then we're not going to allow you to drive your vehicle in the city center of glasgow because we feel that fucking the two fucking five extra pies that you fucking ate out of greg's or wherever the fuck you went you fart that's fucking emissions you get more fucking emissions with your fucking fart than you do a fucking 2012 fucking diesel master six right so you kidding me on here wow man wow you know what i'm doing i'm fucking moving to botswana and i'm fucking put, i'm getting myself a botswana fucking welfare rights officer and i will be able to fucking claim every single fucking british benefit gone under the fucking sun mate I'm telling you oof that's a fucking hefty money maker that is a hefty money maker but like i says i like fucking i've heard before We've given Africa their fucking concerts and their fucking live aid. I think it's time that they fucking took their turn and realised what's going on, what this Britain has now become, and it's their turn to fucking give us a fucking, a, a, a fucking G5 fucking concert and fucking show us how it's done. But that's what's happening anyway. You don't fucking see white people on television anymore. I remember you never used to fucking see a Chinese person walking the street. Fuck's sake, now they come with fucking quick with a camera and fucking Kodak's making more money than fucking Tesco's. Fuck's sake. But anyway, like I said, I'm no prejudiced, I'm no racist, I'm no fucking any of the ists. I'm just saying it the way that I'm experiencing it. And I'm wondering, is anybody feeling the same about this situation? Is anybody actually thought to themselves, hold on a minute, see everything this guy says, says? I can relate. I can actually fucking relate because we fucking Janine doing the fucking second flat. She's got a fucking Botswana donkey and she's got a fucking cat that's a fucking, it's, a, it's born a fucking cat and fucking now that wee cat, wee fucking kitty is basically a fucking dog, specific breed of dog and it's now a female fucking dog. So it's not even a fucking male dog anymore, it's not even a male cat. A, cat's, a, a female cat can now become a male fucking dog and a female fucking dog can now be known as or called a fucking human. And if you don't accept, respect that, then basically you can now be taken to court and done with a fucking racial. Is that mad or is it just me? I don't know, folks. But like I says, this is what we're allowing. It's no good. It shouldn't be allowed. And I don't really understand why we are allowing this kind of behaviour to take place um, in this fucking state of a fucking years planetary fucking how we are they fucking told us this fucking bastard and aliens flying about at freedom of information act they know the, the aliens flying about they know we can get fucking free technology and free gas heating fucking all the rest of the bullshit carry on you can fucking make a robot bird that will fucking cook clean fucking full shebang your fucking how you doing in the morning afternoon for your lunch time and make your fucking tea for your fucking evening do you know what i mean so that's the way things are and that's really good because technology is moving on and that's the way things are now so like i said that's that's, that's a good thing you know uh, but like i said as well on top of that it's just what's happening here with us telling us what to do no even fucking waiting for our answer and then doing it and then Whoever it is that didn't agree with it in the first place, they fucking never had time to fucking put up a fight and judge it and go against it at that time. So what they do is they wait till the fucking idea has been put in place or laws or the fucking whatever it is has been put in place and then they try and fucking challenge it afterwards after they've fucking stamped it for fucking five years. Right, alright mate, thank you.